Hey, hey! If you're coming on, let me just find my page. Look, there I am. Let me get comments pulled up. Maybe. If my internet cooperates. How is everybody? Oh, my chair is really low. I can't do that. Let's see. There we go. Now I got comments. Hey, everybody. Hey, Scott. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Albert. Hey, Denise. Nina. Alicia. Suzanne. Debbie. Abby Lynn. How are you, friend? I got the rock. My camera's all, all messed up. It got bumped. Hey, Holly Cook. Hey, Connie. Um, Terry, the bees I'm working on, you can see them here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, it hasn't quite been two weeks. I was at Scott's until Tuesday, then Wednesday drove home, Thursday packed the trailer, Friday left for northern Mississippi for a class, got home Sunday, started making bees. I have 90-some bees done, ready to ship out. They'll start shipping out probably tomorrow. And then I've got another probably 100 bees that I'll start working on in the morning. Today I had to make some deliveries um, about an hour or so away. So we've been busy, 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 busy. Hey, Serena. Hey, Margie. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Mary Poe. Thanks for the follow, Laura. If y'all wouldn't mind doing all the Facebook things. I am Jana Mays with J. Marie Designed. And I am super happy that you are here. This is day two of our 60 days of lives. Let me make sure I've got, I think I've got everything turned off. If you can hear me okay, give me some hearts, some thumbs up. Let me know. I'm glad y'all are here. Thanks for the stars, Deanna. Deborah, it is a lot of busy. Um, and when I travel, there's always, you know, a day of in between because it's a 10 and a half, almost 11 hour drive for me to get up there and back. Hey, Cindy with Peep This, y'all. Hey, Nancy, thanks for sprinkling. Thanks, Sandra. Hey, Kathleen. So I am going to do a, well, welcome, Olivia, a little fake bacon today. I was going to press more signs and chat with y'all, but I've got this little cake that I've had ready so we're gonna make a bee cake I think we'll make some bees and uh, get going I've got some things ready to go and it should be good can y'all see me okay Kate said she couldn't see me if it's dark go back out come back in welcome Kathy hey Jojo thanks for sprinkling so anyway, I mean, literally I walked in the door like probably 45 minutes ago. I had a pork butt that I started last night that I had to get off the grill and pull it. Then I came out and got signs taped. So I am ready, ready, ready. I'm going to switch my views. You'll still be able to see me up in one of the corners, but I'm going to show you my table. Hopefully it'll switch here in a second. Well, I'm glad you can see me, Ann. Hey, Ramona. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for the follows. I am almost to 9,100 followers. My goal, my big goal, big, huge goal, is to be at 10,000 by Crafters Convention in July. So I know it's kind of a, a big goal, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Michelle, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Vicki, I miss seeing you too. Thanks for the sprinkling, Cheryl. Hey, Debbie. Oh my gosh, we got 178 people. Whew, that's a lot of people. I love my little bees too. You can see all my little bees here. This is only part of the ones I've been working on. I'm going to move them out of the way. And we're going to work on this. This is a square, um, foam square from the Dollar Tree that I just spackled with my spackle icing. 
on the sides here. Um, oh my gosh, if we get over 200 people, I might, I might have, you know, a little flutter. I'm sure my face will turn red and get a little flushed because when I get nervous, that's what it does. Hey, Jenny Reynolds. So I'm, I'm busy today. I've got my live today. Oh, Deborah, <laughs> 500. I think I'd have a heart attack. Um, I've got this right now at six o'clock. I've got a class in my Critters and Clay group, which is a paid um, group where we learn about making um, little clay figures, kind of like this. So tonight we're going to do some bee stuff. Hello in the UK. Oh my gosh, 195. That's a lot of people. Well, I'm glad y'all are here. I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed Scott's bow making thing, getting ready for class. After me, um, you'll want to go over to Monkey's Creations and Ellen Wellen Designs is taking over Monkey's page when Monkey's out of town, so you'll get to see um, her. Then after Ellen at 7 is Angie at Stencil It Up and Brushes and Boards. And after Angie, 8 o'clock is Amber with Crazy Craft and Mama. So you'll want to catch everybody. And make sure, y'all, if you're visiting those pages and watching their lives, make sure you give them a little follow. And throw up some hearts and stuff. That always helps the pages. Oh my gosh. Oh, 205! Ah! That's exciting. Well, let's get started. So this is a mug that I did. So we're going to use kind of some similar, similar ideas to that. I got my protein coffee with me because I need it for today. It's a chocolate protein shake and some, hey Carrie Ann Sharp, some caramel fudge waffle cone skinny syrup, some cold brew coffee, and that's it. A lot of ice. So if I get a little chatty, you'll know why. 2.15. Oh my gosh. So we're going to use one of my little bees, and then I've got some other goodies over here that are ready to go. This may be a short one today. I'm not sure. i got a couple beehives. Oh look, there's a little ice cream. I always have things made ahead of time because I practice. I sit and play and practice around, and I love to play with clay. It's like Play-Doh for adults, and Scott is going to be getting his probably now in about two weeks or less um totally affordable he'll have tools he'll have sprinkles and some cabochons and all the goodies that you'll need Aw, thanks michelle i miss you girl hey sarah evans all the things that you will need to fake bake and now that i've gotten scott kind of hooked back into it you know going back to his bakery days and stuff He's all, all about it, and he does amazing work as well. Well, thank you for the follows, everybody. I am totally into the bees right now. Hey, Heather Williams. Let me get a drink because I'm losing my voice. Let me see what else I have that we can put with the bees. We'll make a bigger bee. So I'm going to start with, hey, in Canada. Hey, Karen. This square that's been spackled and we're going to add a, a cabochon is a like a flat button without the shake on the back so it's just a flat let me see if I have one down here in my drawer I can show you real quick maybe so it's like a button without a, a without a shank on it so they're just flat backed um, so this is a cabochon it's it's flat on the back I know Deborah all the fake bakes you want and it doesn't ruin your diet Hello in Pennsylvania. Hey Joyce. There is another screen in the bottom corner that you'll be able to see me face on. 
I can't switch my view because of the streaming software that I use, but you do get to see two different views. So you should have a really good up close view here on the table as well as you can see me straight ahead. Hey Kimberly! So we're just going to do some decoration along the side here. And I am in no way a piping expert. I have taken a few cake decorating classes, but that's about it. So we're just going to kind of fill in the top here. Hey in Kentucky! We had the most beautiful day today. It was 81 degrees. I mean, it's still 80 degrees out. Um, we drove to uh, Gulfport, Mississippi to make some deliveries. Got to have lunch with a friend on the beach, like shrimp tacos on the beach, y'all. They were amazing. Went to the commissary and did some shopping. And then I rushed in and was like, oh my gosh. Oh, Mary, I'm so glad your power's back on. And then I'm just going to do kind of some rosebuds in the center just to give us a base. And I use these little, they're actually little finger protectors from Dollar Tree to um, put on the end of my spackle so it doesn't dry out. Hello in Georgia! Yes, Kim, I will move it closer in just a minute when I can, when I'm done piping and I can reach up that way. There we go. So you should be able to see just fine. I know it's a little weird with the screen the way if you're used to, you know, Angie or Scott and the way they do theirs. Mine's just a little different. But because I do classes um, and the fake bakes, it's a little bit easier for me to have the multiple views so that I can also switch and actually give you a top-down view. So I know it's different, but I appreciate y'all being here. And I appreciate for the suggestions for moving things around. If you can't see, just holler. So I have these little cups, coffee cups, that um, I made. I don't like that view. I think this one's you can see better. Coffee cup that I made. But we'll cut one of these out and we'll make one of these. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Got too many bees. Too many bees. Too many bees. Um, Serena, I will do the top view in just a little, a little bit. Oh, no. Not another storm in California. You guys have been hit hard. Okay, you guys like the top view better? We'll do that one. It's just a push of a button. All right, let me get my... I'm going to need some yellow... And let's see what I have over here. All my clay is still packed. Oh, I got cookie dough. So I have a mixture. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Car Carol Ann. I always want to say Carly because my daughter is Carly. And so I see the beginning of your name. And um, I think that it's Carly, but it's Carol Ann. Hold on, I got a dry, a dry chunk. My bag has a, a poke in it. All right. So this is one that I have mixed, which is the brown and white. Oh, Cheryl, I hope everything's okay for you. Happy Tuesday, Jeffrey. So I've got some really, you know, technical, technical tools here um, for my clay to make sure that I have it all the the same. I use two paint sticks that I glued together. That just gives me a consistent base. And my tabletop are um, two marble uh, tiles from 
um, from Home Depot. Those are Easter. We don't need those. Let me find my coffee cup. I had it at Scott's. We might have to go with Plan B. It's probably sitting on Scott's table. Nope, there it is. Oh, you know what we'll do? Sorry. Change of plans. We're going to do... We're going to do Easter instead. Because I have this cookie cutter, this cross, that I love. And when I was... when. When I was hanging out with Scott while he was recovering, um, I made a whole bunch of jar toppers with the cross, and I think they were some of my favorites that I've ever done. So the cross came in a set from um, Amazon. So we're gonna start with just a cookie base, and we're gonna set that aside. And then let's find a color for our cross. We'll do this pretty turquoise. Maybe. I got to get down here to the color. This is one that I mixed, so there's a bunch of different ones all together. We'll do a cake like I did the toppers. I love doing the jar toppers. They are some of my favorite things to do. I think when I was um, with Scott the other day, we did almost a dozen, I think, for the floral shop. There we go. We'll need that in a minute. So I'm just kneading the clay. If you haven't ever played with air dry clay, it is seriously Play-Doh for adults. It's so therapeutic. Um, I think it's incredibly relaxing. I It's one of my most favorite things to do. I love my signs and I love designing and creating, but this is just crea creating on a totally different level. Hey, Jamie, a jar topper um, is just a jar top, a topper for a mason jar which then you can take the mason jar and fill with with candy or you know s'more stuff or you could put cookies or hot cocoa there's all sorts of things but it's just a topper for a jar so I did Scott and I did a bunch of Easter ones for the floral shop to fill with Easter candy and goodies hey Kaylin how are you, friend? Hey, Pearl. Welcome, 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 welcome all the newbies. I'm happy you're here. Thanks for hopping over after Scott's. I know Scott's getting ready for his, his class, or Angie's class. Oh, that one got a little sticky. We're gonna do that one over. Be in style. That's Lisa. Woohoo, I remembered. Thanks, Judy. Hey, Cheryl. We're doing a little fake bake. Kaylin, we're doing we're doing a little busy work tonight in class. Hey, Beth. Cheryl, it was a set with um, it was a whole Easter set. There was some bunnies, the cross, a sheep, I think a butterfly. Marilyn, I love this shirt. This is from Amber, Crazy Craft and Mama. And it says, this is just a chapter, not the whole story. Um, oh my goodness, Judy! You're going to make me freak out. I'm going to freak out. Not really. Hey, Christine, how are you? I will be at Crafters Convention this year as a vendor. Hey Donna, how are you? Marilyn, I am from Alabama. I am in Mobile, Alabama. But I travel um, to Illinois about once a month, or about every six weeks. My youngest daughter lives about 20 minutes from Scott and Angie. 
and Ellen, so I get to hang out with her and visit my friends and have some crafty time and it's a little vacation. So I save my, these are my shipping label backings, so I save those. Now we're just going to make a sandwich cookie or a cookie sandwich. Yeah, Kristen, um, my daughter works in St. Louis. Uh, my youngest daughter, Maddie, if you've been at Crafters Convention, you've probably met Maddie Grace. Um, last year, Jacob was there with me. He won't be there with me this year. He'll be in the Air Force. He's going away to boot camp in less than, probably before the end of the month. So it's nice when I go up, I get to visit everybody and hang out. And I get a little vacation. So that's good. Alright, so now we're going to mix this, this one, with some white to do some roses. Kristen, I don't know. I don't know what Scott has planned. I need to talk to him about that. Yeah, Kristen, he'll be in um, boot camp in uh, San Antonio. I do sell signs, Christine. I still do. Um, but one of the cool things is once Jacob joins, the job that he chose is cyber warfare. Um, he does all the computer stuff. Um, his tech school is actually at Keesler Air Force Base, which is maybe an hour from here. It's where we were today. Um, maybe an hour from home. So he'll be close by for at least six months. And then one of the top bases, um, for him, for his job, is Scott Air Force Base, which is right where Maddie Grace and Scott and Angie and Ellen and everybody live. So I'll still, you know, he'll be, he'll be close, but he's super excited. I'm really proud of him. He's worked very, very hard to, um, to get in. So I just added white to the same blue to kind of tone it down a little bit and make a lighter one and we're going to make some roses. Marilyn, I do not sell this clay, um, but Scott will be carrying foam clay. He has 15 different colors that are on their way. He'll have sprinkles and tools and all sorts of goodies. So you'll be able to get it from Waterman's Loft. So again, my super nifty um, measuring tools, you can get the rolling pins that have the rubber bands on the ends. This is actually a PVC pipe. I needed a longer rolling pin, so I made one. And now we're just going to make some circles. No, his clay is his going to be his own clay crystal. Um, his own, it'll have the Waterman's Loft, it'll be the his own Waterman's Loft brand clay. Similar, it's all air dry clay, air dry foam clay, there's, you know, you can find it. But he'll have um, 15 different colors at a great price. I think it's $11.99 a bag for 500 grams. Yep, it'll have his, it has a cool label that'll be on it. It'll be Scott's Clay. So if you're coming to Crafters Convention, you'll get a little sneak peek. Well, it'll be in before then, but you'll get to shop at the store and see. So we're going to make some roses. Yeah, Marilyn, it'll be the same. Um, this is, this is just air dry foam clay. Um, right now I use the, um, a brand called Bows from Amazon, but once Scott gets his, I'll transition into using his clay. I just like Amazon, um, because, you know, I'm kind of an instant gratification. It's all about that prime shipping and getting it here quickly. So we're making a rose. 
and I just have a bunch of circles that I cut out they're fairly thin and now this one's there we go so for the middle I'm just gonna roll roll it up and then my other ones I kind of flatten out the edges if you've done any fondant work it's similar to making fondant roses and then I'm just gonna roll it around yes Scott's will be cheaper than, than Amazon's even with the free shipping and he'll have more colors so until he gets it I'll use what I got so I'm just rolling the clay around each other and then kind of flaring out the edges Plus Scott will have more goodies. He'll have tools and sprinkles. And he's super excited about it. We spent the Tuesday that Scott was recovering, we spent the entire day crafting. It was so awesome. All right, we don't need that one. So that's what we have there. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut it in half. So you actually get two, two roses out of one. So there's one rose. And then this one kind of looks more like a rosebud. There. And we're going to go ahead and put those on our cross. And we're going to make another one. Oop, stuck it to a beehive. Oh, Marilyn, it is so much fun to work with. Hey, Helen. I love the clay. Have fun, Carrie Ann. Hey, Carrie Ann, are you guys leaving soon? Safe travels. Yes, yeah, Scott made a Highland cow cake. That is amazing. Amazing. But he has that bakery background, too. So it all works for him. Welcome, Angela, in Houston, Texas. I am in Mobile, Alabama, enjoying our 80 degree weather today with less humidity than yesterday. Yeah, this cross is one of my, my favorites to do. Hey, Janet, how are you? So remember, after me is, um, Cheryl, this clay is from Amazon. It's uh, the Bose brand, B-O-H-S. And I am using it. Uh, Scott will be carrying it um, at Waterman's Loft. He'll have an air dry clay that will be Waterman's Loft clay. Probably in about two weeks. Um, it's on its way. And he'll have all sorts of goodies and tools and everything, too. But this is just, it's air dry foam clay. So it dries um, super light. I don't know if you can hear it. It's, it's hard, but it's kind of, kind of spongy. Very forgiving, easy to work with. Different than polymer clay. Similar to, well, kind of similar to fondant. Um, but fondant is, I think Scott said, a little easier. <laughs> to work with. This, once you stick it to itself or stick it to wet clay, it's stuck. Yeah, it's gorgeous here today. It was like the perfect, I don't want to say spring day, um, but it was, it was gorgeous. 80 degrees, no humidity. It rained a little bit this morning, but that went away. All right, falling off my chair. So we're gonna skewer the cross and then I'm gonna make some uh, leaves in a minute. I gotta find my green clay. So I just put a skewer 
up inside to kind of keep it from bending all wonky. Hey Joan, how are you? So after me, totally forgot what I was saying, although I'm not as bad as I was last night. Yesterday I couldn't remember anything. After me, you'll want to hop on over to Monkey's Creations. And Ellen Wellen is taking over Monkey's page while Monkey is out of town. And I'm going to do, I think, this one um, at an angle this way instead of square on the cake. So I'm going to go ahead, get that started. Let me grab some pliers. There we go. And we'll fill in around that a little bit with some spackle. And my spackle is just a mixture of lightweight spackle and white paint. And this is actually some that I mixed up for the class I did at the loft. So it lasts a while. Because I did that class on the 25th. So we'll fill in around there. Then we're going to put our other little roses that we made. Might need to do a dark one. I think I need a dark rose down on the bottom. So here's what we have so far. And I'm just going to roll this out real thin again and cut my circles. And this is the darker clay that I use to make the, the light mixture. Angie Skinner, I miss you, friend. That's the one thing. I have so much fun when I go up to crafts and hang out with Angie and Ellen. And I got to see Amber this time and Scott. That it always makes coming home a little sad. It's kind of like when you used to go to summer camp for a week. Like we, all, we always went to summer camp. And at the end of summer camp, you have to leave all your friends and go back home. And it's always kind of sad. I know that I can go up and visit anytime, but I still miss them terribly when I'm gone. We have such a good time. And I do five circles. They don't have to be perfect because I'm going to kind of smush them anyway. There we go. And save the other end of your... Oh. Time to get ready for class. I have a... Hey, Angie Hernandez. A clay group called Critters and Clay. Um, that we do a... Um, I do a tutorial almost every Tuesday if I'm around. It's $12 for a month, um, but you get, you know, at least four tutorials, and sometimes I do some little bonus pop-up lives. <gasps> Angie, that chaffle I made yesterday was amazing. It had pepperonis in it. it. tasted just like pizza. I got my protein coffee. Not that I think I should be drinking coffee at 5.30. But I was a little nervous. Oh, Cheryl, that would be perfect for her. And a lot of it overlaps. It's similar techniques. Um, and I think that's probably where the whole fake bake trend started. Hey, Kat. Um, Karen, I will be doing kits. Right, Scott? Um, we will be putting together some fake bake type kits, but I do do, I do 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 ribbon and uh, sign kits, which I've had at crafters convention. All right. I like how that's looking. What do y'all think? Now I need to make some little leaves. Let me find some green. And I think I'm going to tone the green down with um hey teeny how are you 
I'm going to tone the green down with a little bit of the blue just so that it kind of blends a little better. Thanks, Cheryl. Put a little light in here. Hey, Brenda. Teeny, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Thanks, Debbie. I love these crosses. I love the look. All right, so I've added, this was a really lime green. Um, Denise, I don't have the kits on my website. Um, just signs on my Etsy store. And then I have another Etsy for my fake bakes. But my kits are usually, um, like I only do at Crafters Convention, kind of a vendor thing. It's kind of a... I don't know. I, I want to say it's kind of a special thing for people to look forward to um, is that they they can get a, a kit. So we're going to do some little little leaves. I think that one's too big. We'll do smallers. Thanks, Angie. That's crazy. This is the most people I've ever had watching. Hey, Peggy, Peggy. I'm trying, if y'all haven't, if you wouldn't mind, you know, making sure that you uh, do the Facebook things and give me a follow if you wouldn't mind. I am, my goal is to get to 10,000 followers by Crafters Convention. I'm about 900 away. I know that seems like a lot, but... I used to think that 9,000 was a, was a ways away, but I, I made that one. And I appreciate all of my followers. Evie, did you ask a question? I'm sorry if I missed it. Comments are going a little fast. I'm sorry, Evie, if you had a question, ask again. Thanks for sprinkling, y'all. So, after me is Ellen Wellen on Monkey's page. Gosh, I started that and never got finished. Then after, and that's at 6 o'clock. And then after Ellen will be Angie, I think, um, on brushes and boards and stencil it up. And I think she has a class at the loft today. Then after Angie is um, Amber with Crazy Craft and Mama. And Amber is the one that made my shirt. She makes probably 90% of the shirts that I wear. If they're not my barbecue shirt, well, she's maybe a few barbecue shirts even. Um, so I'm just going to make my leaves into like a little heart. And give them a few, just some little lines. I forgot to do lines on this one, but we'll do it. And I'm just going to tuck them up next to my roses. Not a lot of leaves. And we'll tuck one up here. i got to do some for my roses that are on my cross. So there's it with the... So Scott con convinced us to do 60 days of lives convinced I use that term very loosely um convinced us to do 60 days of lives so I will be live every day with this is day two um and you know how Scott Scott's really convincing when he wants to be we really didn't have a choice but 60 days, that's a lot of lives. So I hope you all will come see what we have in store for you. Yesterday I had a blast just talking with everybody. We pressed some signs for Sign Club. And some orders. Yep, it's, it's Tumblr Tuesday. 
Thanks, Teeny. I'm sure I can do it. It's just a lot of ideas to come up with. Um, I used to not go live very often, and then I've been going live. I go live every Friday at four, and I go live in my in the group for class. But <laughs> Angie, that's so true. But it's worth it. Um, you know, there comes a point where you just you need to be challenged. And I think I think it'll be great. It'll push me as a creator, as a designer. Um, so I've had too much coffee. My hands are shaking. All right, let me put this clay away before it all dries out. We got twenty minutes until Ellen is on so for this it does help you grow you're right Kathy and I think it helps you um, grow you know as I'm at a loss for words it helps you grow creatively as well and challenges you you know to come up with more ideas and that gives y'all something else to look forward to but it gives us as creators a kind of a kickstart for that getting those creative juices going I think I want to put I think I want to put a little glitter oh Kristen don't even worry about it. Mine does that. I'm like hitting hearts, hitting hearts, hitting hearts. And there's angry faces going up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Go back. Yeah, Kristen, I know it doesn't have to be a new a new craft. Um, but I might do, you know, like prep one day and then make a wreath. All right, Judy. I'll see you at six. Um, Pearl, to get the honey to drip on, like on my other ones is a um, mix that I make um, which if you go onto my page J Marie designed there is a live that I did uh, making a beehive cake and it's on there what well, Scott gives her yes Sharon most definitely um, I have an affiliate link with Waterman's Loft, and it will be in my link tree. And as soon as Scott gets it, I will have a huge announcement on my page, too, because I am so super excited. Um, Kat, these bees are not for y'all tonight, but we are doing a bee um, tonight. So I'm going to add some glitter. And let me find my favorite. So, back in the day, like six years ago, my whole, you know, because hobbies have hobbies. So I started making tumblers, and I did the tumblers with the glitter and the epoxy and vinyl and, you know, water slide and everything, and I did that forever. I still do them occasionally, but I have an entire wall in my inside craft room that's just glitter. And so I have oh, these stupid gnats. Um, a ton of glitter. This this white glitter is my all-time favorite. I messaged my friend Heather who owns Feather Bear Bling and I told her, I said, Heather, I need this in like a five pound bag. I use it all the time. It's the prettiest white and it's it just adds the right sparkle. So I'm going to hold this over the garbage can real quick and give it a little sprinkle. And let me just tap off the excess. And I got a little bit on a leaf, but I can brush that off later. So it just gave it a little bit of sparkle. Pearl, 
um, if you don't find the, the recipe or the live that I do it, just send me a message. Um, you can message me at um, info at jmarie design or um, just message me uh, Jenna Mays on Facebook and I will help you um, help you uh, with the recipe for the drip drip. So here is our um, finished little cake, Easter cake. And you could put this on top of another base and keep you know building. You could make you know like a tiered cake with it. I would probably put it on a small cake stand and just go around. Thanks, Tisha. Go around with some spackle, um, some icing, spackle icing, and do the same scallops around the bottom, and then call that good. I would, I wouldn't. I think the cross is so pretty that it just needs to be the focus, and the roses just kind of add the perfect little touch. I wouldn't do anything else to it. So there it is, a little closer. You can see the glitter there and our little roses but I love and I love doing the smaller the smaller cakes like this um Peggy the clay okay it depends on your environment uh, I am in Alabama yesterday was super super humid um, but normally it would it would it takes about 24 hours um maybe you know 48 hours for it to be completely like dry dry and you can seal it with this varnish here um or but or you can spray them with like the krylon krylon spray oh jojo that would be a great first communion cake um but the the clay dries um in about a day especially if you're in a drier area um, here it's a little more humid sherry the bottom of the cake is just a square foam round from the Dollar Tree so I'll put it up here it's just yeah just a piece of styrofoam that I iced with my spackle mixture um, and a giant popsicle stick and that's it. And then I piped around the top. Hey, Betty Nicholson. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Olivia. It happens to everybody. I do that all the time. Thanks, Vicki. So here is our little Easter design. I don't even know what time it is. My watch is dying. 15 minutes. Um, so I am done. I got some signs to press. I got to get ready for class at 6 o'clock. But I'm going to hop off. At six o'clock, you'll want to go to Monkey's Creations and Ellen Wellens taking over Monkey's page. And I'm sure she'll have something fantastic. But go go give Ellen, Ellen Wellen Designs, a follow. Angie with brushes and boards, stencil it up. Amber with Crazy Crafted Mama. And they will all be on tonight. Have a wonderful evening. I've got to get ready for class and make a run in the house to use the bathroom because <laughs> my coffee is hit. And I will see you all tomorrow for day three. But hold on, hold on. We gotta do, we gotta do the thing. So I'll see you tomorrow for day three, but here we go. Day two. Done. Got to put it on the wall. Remember, always be kinder than you need to be because you never, you never know what someone is going through. So just show, show some kindness. Much love, everybody. I will see you tomorrow, six o'clock tonight. Go watch Ellen um, on Monkey's Creations and then Angie and then Amber. Have a fantastic night, y'all. Love you.